Hello everybody, my name is Robbie and today we'll be talking all about matter. I think it's a really cool subject. First, let's answer the question, what is matter? Well, matter is everything that surrounds us, everything that we could see, touch, smell, and feel. Well, matter is everything. There are 30 states of matter, but although scientists from NASA say that there are six or even seven states of matter, we will focus on the three major states that people on Earth mostly come across. Those three states are liquid, solid, and gas. There are many examples of each state. Examples of solid may be ice, bricks, wood, car, and glass. Examples of liquid may be juice, water, milk, oil, or tea. Examples of gas may be steam, smog, oxygen, or helium. Now I wanted to show you how certain objects can change their state from solid to liquid and liquid to gas. I also wanted to show you how different states of matter can interact. In order to do that, I will show you two experiments. For the first experiment, we will be using an ice cube and a hot pan. When we put the ice cube on a hot pan, it starts to melt immediately. The ice turns from its solid state into liquid. Ice turns into water. Then, as the water heats up, it starts to steam. It turns from its liquid state into gas. There's less and less water in the pan and in the end it all turns into gas and the pan is empty dry. Now let's move to the second experiment. For this experiment we will need vinegar, baking soda, a bottle, a balloon, and a fennel. First, we pour some vinegar, our liquid, to the bottle. Then, using the fennel, we put baking soda, our solid state object, into the balloon. Next, we gently put the balloon on our bottle, carefully not to spill the soda inside. Now, let's lift the balloon and let baking soda get inside. Baking soda on contact with vinegar releases gas which inflates our balloon. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked it and maybe you learned something too. If you want, you could subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you and see you next time.